And so, as I was looking at MUFON, Mutual UFO Network, that most people know on the History Channel from Hangar 9, that shows a massive hangar, as if they have this massive database. And Well, they do have a massive database because they work on volunteers as a non-profit. But actually, the CEOs and the executives pay themselves loads to make sure that there's no profit left over. So it's a company that doesn't make any profit, except for the people who get paid to work in the company. And MUFO, uh, MUFON headquarters is not like in Hangar 1. It's in this building. It's in this building, MUFON headquarters. And as you can see, if you go here, this says Flint Rehabilitation Devices LLC. That's one office. Uh, this is basically a building that rents out tiny office spaces which you don't use because MUFON is a website and there you have MUFON Inc. F2 next to Flint Rehabilitation Devices Limited. It's a building where you register a company and have an empty room and in case anybody wants to come, then you pay for an hour to use that room or in your monthly fees of renting the office, you get so many hours per month that you can meet up with people to use the conference room, which is a conference room used by Flint, used by MUFON, used by all the other companies who are in G, H. There's Flint, or in two, yeah? Or in H, or in G, two, yeah? And MUFON are in F2. So MUFON are in one of the rooms in here. In this big building, which isn't as big as Hangar 1, but these are just office spaces. And I made a company once that uh, I didn't want, I just wanted to work online with my online shop. So all I needed was a tiny official space because to make a company you need a premises. So these are very tiny premises that offer all the things needed to legally fulfill the requirements to register a company or a non-profit. And here we have MUFON Incorporated, that people think such a big worldwide thing with people with boxes full of files in corridors in a massive warehouse. No, it isn't. It's a tiny office in there with nobody there. And the whole MUFON database is in the house of the CEO, most probably, I would assume and make a guess, on his computer, and that only the person who started this off, or the people who started MUFON off, have control of that database, because they're making lots of money with the History Channel documentaries, taking donations, and they built the whole profitable thing for their CEOs, coffee machines and nice cars and houses and golf club memberships on volunteers who are UFO crazy like me. But I'm not volunteering to help move on, become big and rich and pretend to be a non-profit because the people who work in there don't work there for free. So it's not a non-profit, is it? The fuck move on. They're not interested. If you go to MUFON in Google Maps, here, sorry, you go to MUFON in Google Maps, how do I get back? Switch the app store, Safari. And I was looking for MUFON headquarters. Yeah? Which is somewhere... Where is it? Near Long, it's in Los Angeles. Between Los Angeles and San Diego, just south of Long Beach. Move on headquarters. Costa Mesa, Irvine, South Coast Metro, Irvine Concourse, the Airport Business Center, the Commerce Center, Speed Go Karts. And in this industrial area, in one tiny office room, 
in the Down Syndrome for Nation, the nail salon. The MUFON headquarters is next to the nail salon. I'm going to have to take a screenshot of that. Flash. Thank you very much. It's next to the nail salon. So if we click on MUFON headquarters... It opens in the app. There's a nail salon. Look at the nail salon here. NYU Beauty. NYU Beauty is here in the Sky Park, Sky Park Circle. This one's available for rent. So the, there's the room. You can see three windows, one door. MUFON is an office that big. MUFON is in F2. That's the DSF Learning Center. It's one room with a door. That's available. This one's storing something upstairs. Maybe they let you have upstairs too, I'm not sure. But definitely MUFON is in F2. And that's F. F. So F2 will be behind that. It's not on a window. It's the office bit. It's two offices behind this room. And it's just a single room. Yeah? Oh my God, how do I go back? So move on. Nail Salon and Move On Headquarters are in this building. In the Sky Park Circle. Next to the Goodman Film Lab. Which is also... This is the Goodman Film Lab, which is a larger office than MUFON. At least they can take things in and out of the ramp. They're actually working. But uh, we have Fast Apple Repair in the same building. Computer Repair Service in here, 18023. This is MUFON headquarters. Oh my God. Oh my God, and look. 8 photos. Next to the Down Syndrome Foundation. Look for donations, call yourself a non-profit. Now this is what has been posted by MUFON headquarters. One, two, Three, four, five, six. And I just posted a couple because I got some better ones than that. They obviously haven't been um, um, approved yet. I think I wrote something. Did I write something? Move on now. Uh, I got 20 points. I'll share that. Can I share that to Facebook? Yeah, I'll share that to Facebook. Come on, everybody. Hi. And there you go. But I'm going to share this video now as well. Muffon. I've had an experience with a muffin, Mufong, from a small growing community of people who migrated from Ningye in Mabemi in Mabangui. It's located between Besi Fomukong and Sang. The people are working very hard to quickly develop this rich agricultural mineral hillside of the hill known as Wumekwe, which is known also has the Kwai Market Square by its side. The stretch of road leading to Mufong passes through Quay, Tecum Fidelis, and Bengiwada and the Tenge Clement Fombang. Oh my god, that's obviously Indonesian or something. And he thinks he's reviewing Mufong. Well there you go. Reviews. There's my review.
They're just benefiting themselves by creating the largest database that is worth the most on the planet and getting people to help them build an empire for free through volunteering. In truth, a non-profit only means that there is no extra profit left for the legal entity known as a company, but that the CEO and other executives receive extremely high yearly wages. It's just a con, and the fact they're on the History Channel proves it. Hangar One gives the impression that they have a massive building full of boxes with files in, on UFOs in it. Actually, it's just a database on the computer in the house of the CEO. It's the same as me with my websites on my own server on my laptop. It's not as big as people think it is. It just happened to go viral and the fact that they sell themselves affiliating with the History Channel and make money on the documentaries called Hangar One prove that it really is not a true non-profit, rather using the legal non-profit registration method to fill their own coffers. And there you go. That's how I think and that's my opinion on MUFON. But I believe in UFOs, I see them, I've seen them, I've photographed them, I've had cross encounters, I know they exist. But MUFON is gravy train riding. Ajahn Spencer, for this time my own channel and my website at johnspencer.com signing off